Hello, this is Alicia with the FSW Writing Center. Welcome to the Grammar Corner. In today's video, we're going to talk about prepositions. These words indicate a time or a location, and they're used as part of a prepositional phrase to add details to a sentence. Let's start with some example sentences that use prepositions. I am currently reading the book on my desk. Alex's desk is beside the whiteboard. Jordan prefers the desk across from the door. The prepositions here, on, beside, and across, give us details about where the desks and the book are in the room. Prepositions can also show where something is in time. Let's look at some examples. The office closes for a lunch break at noon. In the winter, I like to go ice skating. My mom fell asleep during the movie. In these examples, at, in, and during all show when in time these events are happening. Obviously, there are a lot of times, places, and locations that might need indicated in a sentence. That means the list of prepositions is quite long. I recommend keeping this list handy, either from this video or from our Writing Center handout, so that you can check whether or not a word you're unsure about is a preposition. I'll show the list again at the end of the video so you can save it. For now, let's talk about what I mean when I keep referring to prepositional phrases. A prepositional phrase is a group of words that starts with a preposition and ends with its object, which can be a noun, pronoun, or gerund. The formula looks like this. You have the preposition itself, any potential modifiers that you want, and then the object of the prepositional phrase. In a sentence, you'll use prepositional phrases to act as adjectives or adverbs describing things or actions. When a prepositional phrase acts as an adjective, it will answer the question, which one? For example, in the sentence, Ashley lives in the apartment complex behind the library, the prepositional phrase behind the library tells you which apartment complex I'm talking about. When a prepositional phrase acts as an adverb, it will answer questions like how, when, or where. For example, in the sentence, Ashley was hanging out at the arcade until midnight, the first prepositional phrase, at the arcade tells you where Ashley was hanging out, while the second prepositional phrase, until midnight, tells you when she was hanging out. Now you know what a prepositional phrase is. There are just two more tips about prepositions that I want to offer before we go. First, when you're looking for the subject of a sentence, remember that the object of a prepositional phrase cannot be the subject of the entire sentence. That means if the noun, pronoun, or gerund you think might be the subject of the sentence is already being used in a prepositional phrase, you'll want to look for a different word. Second, there are five words that can be prepositions but can also be subordinating conjunctions, which are words used to introduce a dependent clause. These words are after, as, before, since, and until. When you're working with those five words, you'll want to pay close attention so you can make sure to use the correct rules for that particular sentence. Here is our prepositions list again if you'd like to pause and review it. Otherwise, that's all for this video. I hope it was helpful. Remember, if you have any questions about your writing, you're welcome to stop by the Writing Center. Have a great rest of your day.